Although the world is a relatively free place, internally, people are suffering, stressed out, angry, afraid. I lived on the streets for two years. I had an overdose in an abandoned van. And as I was dying, I was able to see that we have a choice. All areas of my life to be at peace, and really, that's what I'm following here. There's a huge gap. You know, I want things different. I want joy in our house, I want love, I want a lot of things that aren't really there. So when I hear the voice that told me to come on this trip, I don't take it for granted. Are we really free? One group of strangers seeks to answer that question and find true freedom on a motorcycle adventure through the chaos of India and the cliffs of the Himalayas pretty ambitious place to get back on the bike after 40 years. They are guided by a fearless and radical Indian yogi. Either be free or die trying to be safe. To unlock the stories that bind them. Because he's not changing, I am. I could have gone a whole lifetime without committing. And put the ancient teachings to the test of a modern adventure. This just feels so unsafe. Together, they seek to reach the four sacred peaks. I start to get what people talk about when they say you gotta come to Indian experience, the Himalayas and their power. Born in the foothills of these mountains is our master yogi Anand. He teaches wisdom all over the world. And while facing his own prophecy of death, he guided seven riders past their fears and over the highest road in the world. We now turn to his wisdom to guide us on our journey. What questions you ask, your life becomes an answer to it. So one has to ask oneself, how am I being enslaved by the world I inhabit? Am I the world or the world is me? I'm offering my life to you. And if you suck, I pay the price. This is not a journey to feel better. Do you understand? You come here to transcend.